That was real, right? I didn't imagine the whole thing? Incredible. I guess I'm finally at the age when my nostalgia is ripe for the harvest. We still got the rest of the 2015 lineup to look forward to as well. Uh, FF15, Phantom Pain, XCOM 2, the list goes on. We better jump right into the Fire Emblem stuff if we don't want to be here all day. Roy's our boy! He's back in blue and looking stronger than ever. I've heard suggestions that he might actually be the strongest FU rep on the roster, which excites the shit out of me. He's always been my favourite smasher, even though Melee is the one I'm worst at. The existing reps are all getting amiibos as well, which are going to have some use in Fire Emblem Fates. Fire Emblem Fates, of course, being the localised title for Fire Emblem 14 in the West. There's a ton of information distributed over the last few months. Details on its features like the customisable My Castle and the return of marriages and children. Also, SMT cross FE is looking pretty crazy, but we still don't really know much about it. It seems to be an SNT game where Fire Emblem characters are summoned to fight for pop stars. I suppose we'll know more in the coming seasons. Alright, enough about our competition. Let's talk FE7X. Yeti has been juggling feature development for 7X with FEXNA stuff, but one of the features we did finish was a tool for analysing player metrics. This tool will gather information about your play and give us better data for playtests. And of course, that meant spending some time bug testing this system. Uh, another thing we've been playing with is Rumble support, which doesn't sound very meaningful, but we believe it will be one of the small touches that really set this apart. And with the assistance of Kitsu, he's blessed us with this new Druid animation, which I adore. I've been doing my part to push the script ahead while finalizing the UI in Photoshop. The class change animation you saw before was painted using both traditional means and the new HD index painting method, which I have been practicing on other styles of sprites as well. We made a Windows icon to be executable and a set of BAM sprites. The slow staff and repair kits should be available in game as well. That about brings us up to date. I've made some recent headway with our spriters, but until recently there's been zero activity from our support staff at all. We still need the loop data set for our tracks, a dozen or more generic mugs, all kind of emotes. With FE3 just around the corner, we might have to settle for a premature release, warts and all. We'll let you know more in the coming weeks. We're on the verge, my friends, so stay on the edge of your seats. Tschüss.